Welcome to this video. Today we'll be talking about improper integrals, what they are, how to solve them, and um, there's a few ways to do it. I'm going to teach the way that your math teacher would like best, um, kind of the more proper way of doing it. So I'm going to jump right into an example because I imagine you all know how to integrate already. This is going to be 1 to infinity of dx over x to the fifth. We know it's improper because there's an infinity as a limit of integration and that's just not proper. So what we will do is convert to a limit format. I'm going to say the limit and I'm going to replace infinity with n. So I'm going to say n approaching infinity of 1 to n of dx over x to the fifth. That is a much more acceptable uh, way to say things in the eyes of a math teacher. And all I've done is I've added the limit of n to infinity of the integral as 1 goes to n of dx over x to the fifth. So I just said the limit of n goes to infinity of the exact same problem except in n where infinity goes. <coughs> That's it. Um, I'm going to go go ahead and evaluate this. The limit is n goes to infinity. And my first step on here is to integrate uh, just business as usual, a normal integral. So in my normal integral, I'm going to simplify this to say 1 over x to the fifth dx. And I can go ahead and further simplify that to be the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 to n of x to the negative fifth dx. And that is very integrable. I love saying that word. It's very easy to integrate. The limit as n goes to infinity of x to the negative fourth over negative four um, from one to n. Let's go ahead and give us a, give ourselves some more room. I'm going to simplify this statement to be a little bit simpler. I should say more simple. If I was a liberal arts major, I'd say more simple. But since I'm engineering, I can get away with saying simpler, right? The limit as n approaches infinity. And to simplify this, 1 over um, negative 4 times x to the fourth, 1 to n. And then I can go ahead and plug in my limits of integration and say the limit as n approaches infinity, put a bracket there, brackets are pretty cool, 1 over negative 4 n to the fourth, minus 1 over negative 4 times 1 to the fourth. And we can simplify again. The limit of n approaching infinity. Um, let's say that n is infinity. In this case, 1 over negative 4 times infinity to the fourth power. That's just a huge negative number. And 1 divided by a huge negative number is pretty much 0. 0 minus 1 over negative 4 times 1 to the 4th is just 1. So I have 0 minus negative 1 fourth. The limit as n approaches infinity equals 1 fourth. Hope that was uh, simple enough to understand. Uh, let's go ahead and do another one that may be a little bit more complicated. Sometimes it helps to get a complicated problem as an example too. This one uh, is going to require a u substitution. If you have not done u substitution before, you can find that video here and also a main menu of all of my videos here to find any tutorials that you might need. In this case, why don't we try uh, the limit, or I'm sorry, the integral from 2 to infinity of dx divided by 3 plus x uh, cubed. That looks pretty good. In this case, of course, math teachers hate seeing the infinity. So I'm going to say the limit as um, n approaches infinity of the integral 2 to n of dx over 3 plus x cubed. 
all I've done is slap the limit of n going to infinity and then wrote the exact same problem with n instead of infinity. Now, limit as n approaches infinity, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this 2 to n and I'm going to say 3 plus x to the negative 3 dx. That is very easy to integrate. I'm going to set up a u substitution and say u equals 3 plus x, du equals 1 dx as I take the derivative of 3 plus x, and then I'll uh, throw it back together and say the limit as n approaches infinity, and that's going to be u to the negative 3 du. Now let's go the limit of n approaching infinity of u to the negative 2 divided by negative 2 from 2 to n. Go ahead and plug in our limits of integration and that will be, uh, and I got to substitute back in my u value, u being 3 plus x. 3 plus x to the negative 2 divided by negative 2 um, I'm going to add in my n value here minus 3 plus 2 to the negative 2 divided by negative 2 I'm going to uh, take our numerator and put it in the denominator to get rid of that negative exponent and say 1 over 3 plus n squared times 2 minus 1 over negative 2 times 3 plus 2 squared. I can simplify that further and if I've got I didn't write a my limit sign. How terrible is that? The limit as n approaches infinity of this. I can go ahead and evaluate my limit now, and I'm going to plug an infinity in here. We have 1 over an insanely huge number. That makes 0 minus 1 over negative 2 times 3 plus 2 squared. And simple algebraic simplification would dictate 0 plus 1 over negative 2 times 25. This is I'm sorry, 0 minus 1 over negative 2 times 25, and that's going to be 0 plus 1 over 50, or just 1 over 50. And that is the, uh, the answer. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post them on facebook.com slash jocoengineering. And please subscribe if this was helpful, because that is the best way to help me as well. Otherwise, I will see you next time.